take some of the charcoal from the darker area and try to distribute it to the rest of the grape so that it will give you a nice transition from the darker to the lighter shade. You might want to go through this very slowly and apply minimal pressure so that you don't press your charcoal too much into the paper. You might want to look into the reference photo as well. You can always make slight improvisations or slight changes from the reference photo. Like there is there is no rule in art. You can always improvise a drawing unless you're going for a very hyper realistic kind of drawing. As you can see, I have blended it, but make sure you don't go very dark in the lighter areas. Once you are done with the basic blending, you can see I have left this small area without blending because this is the lightest portion in the reference photo this is where the light is reflected so I don't want to put charcoal in that area now since I've taken some charcoal from the darker area and distributed to this area I will have to fill up a little more charcoal on top of this to give a very dark look like this reference photo You can see a dot here so I'm gonna create it now I have missed it out last time try to pay attention to the details try to replicate as much as details as possible from your reference photo which will improve the look of your drawing much more invest your time on your drawings i know it gets very frustrating to sit for hours and hours for a drawing but if you are really into art and if you want to improve please invest your time work on it practice more practice is the key Now if you see the reference photo, if you see closely, there is a shadow that is cast by this grape and this grape on this one. So here this is the area. So I will have to draw this darker areas to give the dimension of the grape. Again, I'm not going to press too much on my drawing. I'll go with very slight strokes. So I'm gonna fill this place with a darker value. If you're not getting the perfect sharp end, please don't worry, you can always use it Use a blender and sharpen the edges. Just lay down the charcoal. Take a blender. This is a very narrow area. Make sure you take the very 
sharpest one and now distribute the charcoal and try to create the shape that is there on the reference photo Now this is a very Now this this area is very messy you may think it doesn't look so neat it, because charcoal is a very messy medium it can get very messy it can get on your hands you can see it can get all over your paper everywhere so be careful so what i'm going to do about this is i'm going to use uh tombow mono zero eraser this as the finest tip eraser so i'll be taking this to correct my edges can you see how nicely it removes the charcoal so i can use this to remove the charcoal that is spread to the area which you don't need so i'm slightly removing it now i'll get a much neater edge Now let's move on to the next crepe. This one. Let's draw this one. So if you observe this crepe, there are only very slight areas of darker value. Most of it is a lighter value, and one by fourth of the crepe is very light, almost white. So let's keep that in mind and lay down the darkest shade from the grape to our drawing. So if you see it starts somewhere from here so you only want to see all that please see the details in the reference photo. and you can see there is a slight white area here so you might want to use the eraser to erase and create a highlight here so don't press charcoal over the lighter areas I'm gonna draw the next one. And there are few dark spots on this areas also. And there is a spot here as well. Okay, so now I have laid down the darker areas. Now I will go much darker. I'll try to keep the darker shade within the shapes that I have drawn so that when I blend I'll get a smooth edge. See I'm not going until the edge. If I go till the edge I will get a very hard 
line on the darker area you will you, you cannot see any dark lines on this reference photo so try to make it smoother now this side I'm staying within the drawing within the shapes here I'm not gonna apply so much charcoal because it looks much more lighter than this area if it is too light you can always go back with the pencil and make it darker okay now that I have laid it down I'm gonna take a blender and do the same distribute it leave leave the whiter areas do not put so much charcoal into the whiter areas I'm not using any pressure filling up the shape of the grey using the leftover charcoal that is on the blender you can see this area is light which is why I'm going with the blender Don't worry if you mess it up here and there, you can always erase it. <sighs> and do not be afraid to make mistakes. You will never learn until you try and make a thousand mistakes so here I'm gonna slightly slide my blender like very slightly so that I'll get the lighter shade here I need to blend more similarly I'll draw the rest of the grapes it's just the same technique see the reference picture identify the darker areas draw it first distribute the charcoal to the other areas remove the excess charcoal in the lighter areas to create a whiter shade and that's it